Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Alex Burris here with English Sports Center and we're going to give you your fishing report, but first thing first, it's Black Friday sales. We're going to have a Black Friday sales going on from uh, the 21st of this month, November 21st to November 25th. So it's not just a one day sale, it's a whole bunch of days for you guys to come down here, check out, you know, get a couple of things for Christmas, good discounts on a lot of cool stuff. Uh, we're going to have uh, pan rival trolling combos already spooled up with 40 pound test line down to $79.99. Uh, they're regular, like, you know, uh, regular price are uh, $109 or $99. And then also on the pan fierce combos, live line combos. So those are just some of the sales. We're going to have 10% uh, off everything and great sales on the uh, custom um, jigging combos that we sell here at Angler so make sure you go to our website check that out uh, also great deals on the gift cards for every fifty dollars you spend you're gonna get ten dollars back so if you don't want to buy something for the kids or someone just get them a gift card you'll get ten bucks for every fifty you buy now let's go on to the fishing here um, rock fishing what's going on everything's deep now top water bite all around the Annapolis area has been tough some committed guys out there are catching one or two fish uh, but they're really spending a lot of time in shallow it's pretty much that time of the year where everything's going to be deeper now uh, all the reports we're getting from Patapsco, uh, Magathy, Seven River, Chester River have been most of the guys are finding the fish in deeper water meaning the channel edges uh, and all those fish are pretty much hanging out on the bottom uh, most of the time if you're go if you're trolling you want to pretty much have something that gets close to or if not kind of gets down to the bottom. Umbrella rigs, make sure you have the right amount of weight. Uh, that's been you know forearm, 15 inch, 6 inch shad. Baits have been producing really well but this is a time of the year when you know we might have some of those bigger fish starting to move in here. Not yet but there's always you know that chance so make sure you have at least something with a 9 inch shad out there on your spread. Uh, a lot of guys have been asking, uh, I, I don't want to troll too much weight, but what's an answer or what's something I can use? Uh, your stretchers. Uh, what's a stretch? It's a plug that pretty much uses that lip to get down to a designated depth. Uh, both of these guys run down to about 30 foot down. So Nomad, uh, you know, has a couple of them. Uh, they, they, they come with single hooks, so a little bit better for the fish. Uh, this guy's here from Mans. Uh, they go down to about 30 foot also, a little bit smaller profile. They come with treble hooks. So if you don't want to troll something too heavy, these guys will do the job for you. Uh, you know, like I said, remember to go down 30 foot so you don't want to go anywhere lower than 30 foot of water because you'll get them snagged on the bottom. So that's been one of the things to use out there in this area for you guys. <clears throat> 2.53 miles an hour. That's been the answer. Now if you're light tackle fishing and you know you're saying what do I what can I use to get down to the bottom? Uh, you know a lot of times you can use like you mentioned before the little bunker spoons. Uh, pretty much these guys are the same thing, just they're called a you know uh, runoff lures. They have a dress, single hook, so it gives it a little more, you know, different flash, different look. Uh, two ounces to one ounce, one ounce will be the smallest one I will use this time of the year, two ounce will be the mid-size there if you're fishing you know anywhere from 25 to you know 40 foot of water to get down to the bottom and this is not snap jigging so you gotta remember that you wanna pretty much slowly move them up and down and uh, you know these guys will have all the action as they fall down and flutter down so it's not snap jigging you know everything you have to kinda slow it down this summer of the year uh, you know play around with the speed but you know everything's gonna be a little bit slower uh, you guys asked for them so we got them uh, bust some baits, fat boys. Uh, you know, these guys are 7 inch profile, but you can see <laughs> they're a little bit bigger profile. This is the regular size. This is the uh, fat boys. You know, they're pretty pretty big profile. So, pair those up with the one and a half, one ounce GI jigs to get down to the bottom there. Uh, like I said, slowly move them around. Uh, they will work. Uh, we got four different colors on the bust some baits. So make sure you come and check those out. <clears throat> Most of the fishing, at least good fishing, has been down south again. Can't emphasize that a lot. You know, enough. It's pretty much 
Eastern Bay and below right now with the hottest things, uh, you know, hottest thing being down at 72, 72 a, which is below the Patuxent River. That's going to be if you want to make the long run and go down there. Apparently there's been a lot of fish and the edges there of the channel, suspended fish and breaking fish. Most of the breaking fish are going to be, you know, not even keepers, but you might find a couple keeper sized fish. Fish down deep below those schools of breaking fish and you'll catch uh, you know, a couple keepers or even some bigger fish. Uh, the guys trolling down in that area have been reporting fish up to 35, 36 inches so you always give that a shot. A little different technique here. We talked about this before. Sting silver with a little dropper a fly up here that will produce you, uh, you know, some fish down deep, vertical jigging. Uh, slow it slow down the uh, you know the motion and you'll probably pick up a few more fish that way what else has been going on uh, you guys fishing up the creeks uh, it's been pretty good yellow perch are starting to kind of you know show up a little more temperatures have been dropping the only problem has been runoff with the rain so you got to deal with murky conditions better way to use a you know little shad dart minnow and a bobber that will be your best bait bet and bait to actually go out there what spots can you go and do that Beachwood Park in Pasadena that's in the Magatee River uh, if you have access to a boat in the Seven River or a kayak that's been another area and when I say Seven River you make sure you go to the upper parts of the Seven River uh, Tuckahoe Creek itself has been producing a lot of pickerel and some perch uh, anywhere down by Blackwater has been producing crappy and some perch, yellow perch, and a mixed thing of bass and pickerel. So if you try and get away and pull away from the rockfish, do something different, that's an option there. Uh, there's some places where there are seal stocking trout, so make sure you check the DNR website for that. You want to do something a little bit different. Uh, Ocean City is reporting a lot of short rockfish. Remember, they have to be 28 inches in the ocean side. So you got that over there at Route 50, the inlet. And you know, outside on the surf, a lot of bluefish and a mixed thing of you know skates and sharks down you know right now. Finger mall is going to be your best bait for that. Uh, and you know, you'll find maybe some keeper-sized rockfish around the Route 50 bridge on the like, you know around the western side of Ocean City at night. So that's your best bet there. So you can use the same big profile baits like this with the same size jigs, and you'll you know you'll pick up a few rockfish that way. Uh, shore fishermen. Uh, best areas have been around Hooper's Island, chunking any kind of bait out there, honestly, pillar crabs, LYs, whatever you have in the fridge for, you know, rockfish, and also down towards Point Lookout and Solomon's. So if you're going out fishing, you want to get some rockfish for sure, make sure you go south. Uh, around the area at Sandy Point and all that, they're picking up a few rockfish, but mainly it's been catfish on bottom, you know, on bottom rigs. So if you don't mind catfish or you just want to catch some big, just to have fun, make sure you go out here, Sandy Point, Matty Peak, they've been catching a lot of catfish. Uh, so that's it for your report. Make sure you go on our online, check out our Black uh, Friday sales, and uh, you guys have a good one.